Hello, I'm Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of to identify, prevent, and treat jock itch and athlete's foot. Tip number one is learn how to identify jock itch and athlete's foot. Here's a picture of jock itch. Here's a picture of athlete's foot. The scientific name for jock itch is tinea crura. Scientific name for athlete's foot is tinea pettis. Usually there's something you did cause a lot of sweating in that area and then you develop some redness and intense itching. That's classic for jock itch and athlete's foot. Both of them are caused by a fungus. Tip number two is if you're not sure that you have jock itch or athlete's foot and you do develop redness and intense itching, I recommend that you see a doctor before you try to treat yourself with over-the-counter medications. Your doctor can get scrapings of the area and put them under KOH, which is potassium hydroxide, and look under a microscope to be sure that you have a fungal infection. Tip number three is a tip for prevention. Jock itch and athlete's foot, here's another picture of jock itch, are extremely contagious. So don't share unwashed clothing, sports equipment, or towels with anybody else. Tip number four is another tip for preventing jock itch and athlete's foot. Don't go barefoot in public areas like locker rooms, showers, or pools. The fungus that causes jock itch and athlete's foot lives on these wet surfaces and can easily spread to your feet and then to your groin if you're not wearing sandals or slippers. Tip number five, yet again another tip to prevent jock itch and athlete's foot is to wash with soap and shampoo after sports and exercise. Tip number six to prevent jock itch is wear clean clothes. Change your socks and underwear at least once a day and avoid tight-fitting clothing that can trap sweat. Men should wear boxer shorts and women should wear cotton underwear and avoid tight-fitting bras. Tip number seven is to keep your skin dry. Dry yourself well, especially after you shower. Now tip number eight, those first tips were to prevent jock itch and athlete's foot. These tips are to treat it. I recommend, there are many kinds of antifungal creams, but I recommend terbinafine because it has been shown in studies to work slightly better than um, other forms of antifungals like chlortrimazole. I recommend terbinafine 1% cream. The over-the-counter name is Lamisil AT. I recommend applying it daily to your groin or to your feet, whichever area is affected, for four weeks. While you're treating, tip number nine is using foot powder. I recommend foot powder if you're treating athlete's foot with the antifungal. While you treat it, it's important to keep the area dry, and this powder will also help with itching. I recommend that you use it not only on your feet, but also in your shoes, and that you wear open shoes during the period that you're using your antifungal cream to treat your jock itch or your athlete's foot. And tip number 10 is to believe in yourself. Jock itch is very common. Athlete's foot is very common. I encourage you to be active and do exercise. And this is one of the side effects of being active, but it's totally worth it. I've given you some tips to prevent athlete's foot and jock itch, to identify it, and then to treat it. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening, and have a great day.